Okay, let's get the kanji lesson on the way right now. E on food. This means comfort, cheap or easy, relax. And the last one, bride or woman or lady. And uh, in our language, it means comfort women, which is a big controversial topic here in Japan. And now in America too. This year, uh, thanks to reports by um, James over at the Japan Probe again. And I said I was emailed by a guy named Panda Manano, not the most uh, manly name on YouTube, but he, uh, he directed me to a video by JP101, and I am me, not you. I think his name is Kohei, Japanese guy living here in Japan, uh, not in America, but he speaks English very good, and his uh, videos are, I think, all in English. Anyway, he made a video about uh, Palisades Park in New Jersey. 50% of the population there is Korean, and they recently put up a monument to commemorate or to remember the 200,000 uh, well, well, it says on the mat monument, uh, I'm sure the number is debatable, 200,000 comfort women that were uh, victims of the Imperial Japanese during 1935, etc., etc. And the Japanese, of course, some of them, not of course, but uh, Japanese went to the Palisades Park and asked for it to be removed, offering some bribes. And um, Kohei, or, or you know, JP101, I am me, not you, thinks that such monuments should not exist in America because America is a third party. I also, do, you know, I like this guy, I like his videos, but he, uh, he decided he didn't want to interact with anyone on that video, so he turned off all the comments, which I find kind of a weak way to do YouTube. And if you go to YouTube, you should welcome everyone's uh, interaction. He didn't even accept Panda Manana's um, video, but I guess that's up to you. Anyway, if you're going to say your opinion out there, I think you should be open to other people's opinions. So, back to the issue. Uh, they needed 25,000, uh, I'm sorry, Japan was told, they went to the White House. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm hurrying, I'm rushing because I want to get home to my wife. And I've been reading about this all day, but Japan was told by the White House that if you'd like that monument uh, removed or even considered, you know, for, for us even to consider it, you have to get 25,000 uh, signatures. And there's a place at the White House, on whitehouse.org, where you can actually make petitions and have the White House respond to them. But I think you need a, a minimum of 25,000. And they, they've attained that goal, they've got 28,000. The problem, I think though, and personally I'm kind of annoyed, is that a lot of those signatures came from Japanese living in Japan. So if you're arguing that Japan, uh, that America should not have a monument because it's a third party, but then you're you're voting on something that is in America from a third country as well. It you know it just seems hypocritical to me. Uh, but that that whole argument for me is is stupid because if you did that, then you'd have to take down the hundreds of Holocaust museums across America, and there are hundreds of them. You'd have to take those. All those would be you know taken down. So it's just ridiculous. Anyway, I don't even want to go there, but um, it's such a ridiculous argument. But I'm, I'm annoyed that the 28,000 signatures, the, the goal was reached, because if you ask me, they should just leave it. They should, they should just leave it there. It's pretty much fact. I've, I've walked around and I've asked a lot of my students, a lot of the Japanese people I know, and they all pretty much agree that it happened. In fact, in fact one person said, why are we discussing this? It's a fact. Uh, a, a Japanese, all Japanese people, I, I asked. So, uh, big issue happening right now. But... Uh, we we, we want to find out, um, the reason I'm telling you this is because now Obama has to respond, or the White House, you know, they have to respond in a timely fashion, so we're going to find out what they say very soon. Um, another thing that uh, James over at the Japan Probe brought up is that actually Japan has apologized and has, offered, and has paid an immense amount of compensation back in 1965 when South Korea had a non-democratic government, and they gave them all this money, but 